All right, guys, don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me or not, uh, but we are getting ready to go off and do the knife's edge to the, what's it called? To Pomola. Pomola Peak. Well, we'll take the Highland Trail down, uh, back down to Roaring Brook Campground. So, uh, a little windy up here. guys you can't see Alright guys, we're almost, almost done. There's a twin things on to you, like right there. That's the, it's blurry when I put my finger there. That is the first ball summit. 
That's the second for the second false summit. And as I zoom out, you finally make it all the way up there. Way out there in the distance. and valleys that you see all along here is a knife's edge and it's uh it's not for the faint at heart i am the faint at heart but oh uh that kind of gives you a really good picture of what we've went through and we do have video footage of some portions of it it's uh breathtaking in a good way and a bad way but uh, if you got the, uh, the will and the power to do it, I highly recommend it. So I want to get finished up here. We do have a little bit left to go. Here's the scenery from above. We're almost at, up in the clouds. But we have to get down that and back up that to the top where you see those two gentlemen sitting right there with the placard and then we'll be making our way down and calling it a day hope you enjoyed please continue to watch and we'll let you know how it is when we reach the top over there all right guys we are now at that crevice coming down um we gotta figure out how to get down there gotta work our way down and then up there where you see the blazes and we are gonna climb boulder rock climbing all the way up there you can see a blaze all the way up there um over there you can see a, oh, there's a raven a few ravens all right, so this is what it looks like. The rocks are slippery. So this is what it looks like, and uh, we're going to try and make our way down and all the way up there to the sign that's at that peak there, and that is Pomola Peak. Here's where we're going to have to go down. Sorry for the finger. Where'd she go? She's playing hide and go seek with us. All right, guys, if you can't see my hands a little bit shaking. <laughs> Because we just had a scale down that coming down and trying to find your best way and let me tell you one thing it wasn't easy but this young lady right here she grabbed hold of my butt cheek <laughs> and escorted me down <laughs> like a gentleman <laughs> but yeah all, jo great. all joking aside this part didn't like it I'll just leave it at leave yeah. it like that. It took us probably about a good 30 minutes to figure out how to get down it. And then we got down it. And now to finish off, if you see the blue blazes, we gotta go up top and then head down that mountainside and out. Uh, this is the crevice. Maybe I'll actually take a walk up top real quick. Oh. to have your feet on semi-solid ground. But yeah, that's what we climbed up today. All the way out there in the distance, that little itty bitty peak way out there. That's Mount Katahdin. And you can see we got rain clouds coming in, so we gotta get off this mountain. Uh, but yes, it's been crazy. Been epic. That's why we're epic R and R. Hey 
Hey guys, we actually made it to the top of Palmala, Palmala Peak. Uh, I don't know if you can fully see. They got a uh, we got rain on, slippery, but you can see the faint remnants of rainbow and a rainbow, and that there is all the rain that just passed us. So. As with every epic journey, God always provides us with an epic ending. And there's two beautiful rainbows. So we're now at the peak and we have to start making our way down. Uh, the trail, which we got another 3.2 miles to go, but you can see where those people are. We had to scale down that. Across all that, up and around, all that, all the way to that big conglomerate of clouds over there. You'll see that little thing all the way up there, right there, just Karen. And that's all of my set. Let me tell you, that's all I gotta say. But, pure beauty, worth it, and we made it. So, show you the sign. guys we're all done celebrating up here at the Pomola Peak and we are now heading down the Helan Taylor Trail it's 3.2 miles uh, it should take us right back to uh, the Roaring Brook campground where we're staying uh, if you can look there in the distance there's another rainbow God is good yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it but all the way up there where the sun's at is where we just came from and this is like a whole nother knife's edge. I wouldn't say it's as drastic on each side of it, but you talk about constant bouldering, yeah. and we're still going. It's like cathedral. And it's hard I mean, we went a half a mile. It's, it's nonstop. This is a 3.2 mile Highland Taylor, tra tra uh, Highland Taylor Trail. Highland Taylor. Taylor Trail and uh, after doing Cathedral, Knife's Edge and this whew, we're gonna be feeling it in the morning. we'll be feeling it in the morning I'll give you a commentary when we're all done uh, about the do's and don'ts and uh, yeah that's about it for now Uh, boulder fields. Now we're into the uh, getting into the forestry area. Still got a long way to go, but uh, instead of being able to see what you're walking on, it's, uh, it's hidden now. So just trying to keep you guys abreast of what the uh, what the side of the mountain has not hours what the side of the mountain has in store for you so 
if the looks on our face could explain what we went through today you'd know that we've been out here for 14 hours today hiking we did Baxter Peak, Mount Katahdin, and numerous other peaks up there. We did the Knife's Edge, and I'll give you more of an update tomorrow once we bandage up our feet, pop our blisters, <laughs> grab some food, and go to sleep. This was the hardest thing we have ever done. Physically, every single part of our bodies. We started at 620. We started at 620, it's now 820, it's now 820 at night. Just boulder, after boulder, after rock, uh, obstacle course, after obstacle course, it just did not end today. So, quite the challenge. Colorado, Alaska, Mount St. Helens, Pikes Peak, Grand Canyon, don't have nothing on Mount Katahdin <laughs> and a knife's edge. But we did it! So for the night, Adios, arrivederci, <laughs> and we'll sign back on another date. Thanks for watching. Hope we'll have a little information for you. Thank you.